Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for the weekend, March 27th, 28th, 29th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Scorpios. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you? Well, you know, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. So, again, we do live in interesting times. Um, you know, I will tell you, again, I will thank everyone that has been going out into the world. Um, I know that if you're able to stay home, please stay home. But there are people, you know, We've talked about it, the health professionals, the um, truck drivers, our first, our first responders, the people keeping open, the grocery stores, the pharmacies, oh my gosh, the delivery people, you know, you know, the people that keep my lights on, the public works, you know, and I know there's so many of you that I haven't thanked, but thank you so much. But again, too, um, you know, if you're able to stay at home, please stay at home. And everyone practice good hand washing and social distancing. Now, let's go ahead and see what we have. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power. And whatever the message is, it just comes on through. Now, three cards face down. The second and third are reversed. So that also means a little powerful, more powerful message. Let's see what we have for my Scorpios. First card up. The Knight of Fire. Okay, interesting for you. Air, we are in Aries already. It's also Leo, and it's also Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined energy. You're rushing in. You're rushing in. It's almost like the song, you know, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Okay? Now, you know, that, oh, that lyric comes to me. I'm not going to sing it for you. So make sure that what you're rushing into, whatever that energy is, that you do it with, you know, that you do it wisely, okay? Because that keeps coming in. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. So don't be foolish with this, whatever this energy is. So to me, it means that your passions are going to run a little bit on the higher side um, than normal and that you might be a little bit more reactive. It doesn't mean that... Um, that what you're looking for is, you know, that you're going, that it's that it's not worth the energy or the fight or whatever this is. It just means pull back a little bit, pull back a little bit. You'll, you know, it'll work out better for you if you pull back. So, this is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. This is what I'm talking about now. Think things through carefully. Okay. Again, pull back a little bit. Really think your next moves out because I feel like you're just going to be over. You're just going to be so passionate and you're going to be like, I just need to do this. Okay, this card reversed. Here we go. The Emperor, Archangel Michael. Michael is the warrior. Michael is also the protector. Archangel energy. This is about, you know, again, when I'm telling you to pull back a little bit, this is about using some logic. This is about thinking things through a little bit more so. Not necessarily having a, an emotional response, but having a more thought out, coherent response, if that makes sense. It's also about organization, but this is organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So I do feel that... You know, I do feel that if you rush in, again, you know, I, you know, again, that, you know, that thing, whatever that energy is, whatever this is, and again, how are you going to be rushing in? Um, it's almost like, you know what, I can tell you what it's like. It's almost like being a fireman or person, fire person, um, and rushing in without your equipment, okay? It's like there's such an emotional response and you, do, you, don't, st you don't step back to prepare, Okay, so this is really one of those times when it's like definition of luck is preparation to meet opportunity. Okay, next card, again reversed, is the Eight of Earth. 
Earth energy is our Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn energy, solid energy, something or someone you can touch. It could also be about your home. It could be about your money. So there could be something, you know, maybe there's something going on with your job. And maybe, you know, maybe you're hearing some news or some changes going on. The thing about this, though, is even though this is the weekend, this is about, you know, about skilled work being rewarded. So if this is about your job, I'm going to tell you to just again, you know, again, don't, you know, if you are called into a meeting, don't rush in until, don't rush in until you have all of the facts, okay? Don't present your argument until you have all of your facts, because this is actually a very positive job type of card, okay? It's very job, it's very positive. The only thing that I'm worried about my Scorpios is that, you know, you might jump the gun a little bit more. You might jump the gun and you might act without having all the information. Not my Scorpios, maybe. Okay. Skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So, you know, maybe maybe there's something that they're saying, you know, with your job, we're going to change it a little bit. You need to have some training. Yes, even though you might be working from home, but you could be being called into your office too. So it's like, there, you know, with, you know, we live in different times now. The things are changing. So they may change. There might be some changes to your job. Again, I'm going to tell you, um, you might hear about that more on Friday if you're working a Monday through Friday. So, or you might hear about it over the weekend. Um, so there could be changes. And the thing is, again, let, hear the information before you rush in. Okay. So let's, because the Eight of Earth is really, really a positive job card. Okay. Just don't jump the gun or jump the shark. Here we go. And people, you know, you can look that up. Last card, it is face down. Here's the last card for my Scorpios. The lovers, Archangel Raphael. So there's a lot of healing energy with this, okay? There's also relationship type of energy. Maybe what you're doing, maybe what you're doing is, you know, again, where I say fools rush in, maybe you're, maybe you're looking at that relationship and maybe you're taking that to another step and maybe that relationship is also... You know, it's also an intimate relationship. So maybe that's the whole thing about it. So, you know, again, too, if that's the case, you know, I, again, I do get this thing about go just a little bit slower. So the lovers, Archangel Raphael, make choices from the heart, from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So you've got some really interesting energy with this. Um, you know, I do feel a lot of this passionate energy coming from you. And again, the song lyric keeps coming, you know, fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Who is to say? Maybe that's where you need to be. So, my Scorpios, if you enjoy my readings, remember the buttons down there. Like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Scorpios, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.